Chairman, and for convening this hearing. In the 10 years since Congress last authorized CFIUS, our strategic competitors have found gaps in the CFIUS process, which they're exploding, exploiting. Right now, if foreign intelligence agencies want to buy land to help spy on our most sensitive national security installation, and there's no existing business on the site, CFIUS can't stop them. Right now, investments that could give our strategic competitors influence and insight into critical technology companies go unreviewed because they fall just short of control of the company. Right now, if a strategic competitor seizes control of a U.S. business through a change in the legal rights associated with an existing investment, CFIUS can't stop them. Right now, our strategic competitors can structure transactions to take advantage of a loophole between CFIUS's existing authority over joint ventures involving a whole U.S. business and the export control system's authority over individual pieces of technology and know-how. And all this, all this needs to stop right now if we want to avoid a catastrophic amount of damage to our technological edge and our military readiness. And that's why I was pleased to join with Congressman Pittenger and Senator Feinstein and Senator Cornyn. Fundamentally, FIRMA is about closing each of these specific gaps I just spoke about while making sure that the U.S. remains welcoming to investments that do not harm our national security. Throughout this process, Congressman Pittenger and I and our Senate counterparts have been working closely with stakeholders and the CFIUS agencies to refine and perfect the bill. I ask unanimous consent, Mr. Chairman, to enter the latest working draft of FIRMA into the record. Without objection. While our witnesses are testifying on the bill as introduced, I would urge my colleagues to see how we have addressed many of the issues that have been raised in our revised text. I think my staff and I have already met with all but one of our witnesses uh, who are here today as a part of that process. Mr. Marchik, our door is open if you'd also like to come in. Uh, and your input has played an important role in this process, notwithstanding the lack of physical presence thus far. I am glad we are working on this issue in a bipartisan way. I echo the remarks of the chair, and I extend to him once again my gratitude for the manner in which we have undertaken this task, this very important task. I am, for my own part, happy to work with anyone who is willing to come to the table in good faith. Because at the end of the day, my colleagues, this issue, our national security, is too important for anything less. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The chair now recognizes the author of FIRMA, the